Chemistry lecture number 46, Types of Reactions. Chemical reactions fall into categories based on what you start with, the reactants, and what you end up with, the products. And there are five types of reactions. Synthesis, uh, combustion, decomposition, single re replacement, and double replacement. Synthesis. Two or more substances react to form one substance. For example, Iron and chlorine can combine to form iron chloride. So in the above example, two elements, iron and chlorine, uh, combine to form the ionic compound iron 3 chloride. So that's that. Here's another example. Um, CaO plus H2O gives me CaOH2. And in the above example, two compounds, calcium oxide and H2O, combine to form the compound uh, calcium hydroxide. Here's another example. Um, we have a compound and an element combining to form a, another compound. So in the above example, a compound, SO2, combines with an element, O2, to form the compound, SO3. So the standard pattern in uh, all the examples is two things combining to form one thing. <coughs> Combustion uh, means a substance combines with oxygen. So a combustion reaction occurs any time an element or compound combines with oxygen. Now in the previous example of uh, 2SO2 plus O2 gives 2SO3, we labeled this as a synthesis reaction because two substances combine to form one substance. But it's also a combustion reaction since the SO2 is combining with the O2, the oxygen. Here's another example. H2 plus O2 gives 2H2O. So this is another example of a combustion reaction that is also a synthesis reaction. Now, however, not all combustion reactions are synthesis reactions. <clears throat> this is methane. So methane and oxygen form carbon dioxide and water. So in the above example, a substance, CH4, reacts with oxygen to produce two substances that contain oxygen. Um, carbon dioxide, and H2O. So this is not a synthesis reaction. Remember, synthesis is two things combining to form one thing. Well, this is two things combining to form two things. Um, it's not a synthesis reaction, but it is a combustion reaction, a substance reacting with oxygen, and then the products are things that have oxygen in them. So the general pattern in combustion reactions is a substance reacts with oxygen to produce a compound or compounds that contain oxygen. Decomposition is where one substance decomposes into two or more substances. Synthesis means things are being put together. Decomposition is the opposite. Things are falling apart. So here's an example of uh, decomposition. Uh, ammonium nitrate forms uh, dinitrogen monoxide and water. So in the above example, one compound is breaking apart into two compounds. Here's another example. Uh, H2O2, that's hydrogen peroxide, decomposes to form water and oxygen. So in the above example, a compound, H2O2, is breaking apart into a compound and an element. Here's one more example. Uh, sodium nitride breaks apart into sodium and nitrogen. So in the above example, a compound is breaking apart into elements. So the general pattern we see in decomposition is a substance breaking apart into two or more substances. So this could be A plus B plus, you know, D plus E, you know, dot, dot, dot. But most of the time, it's, uh, the examples we're going to see is one substance breaking apart into two substances. Single replacement. One element replaces the atoms of another element in a compound. So in this example, we've got chlorine gas, which is an element, reacting with KBr, which is a compound. And after the reaction, we end up with a compound, KCl, and an element. So if you look at the above example, Cl is replacing the Br in KBr. So the Cl is basically knocking this thing out and replacing it. The Br gets kicked out, and you're left with the elemental form of Br and the Cl takes its place. So in the above example, Cl is replacing the Br in KBr. KBr has been turned into KCl. Here's another example. <coughs> Lithium, which is an element, reacts with 
H2O, which is a compound, a molecular compound, to produce lithium hydroxide, which is a compound, and an element. So the lithium is displacing one of the hydrogens. So in the above example, lithium is replacing one of the hydrogens in H2O. H2O has now been turned into LiOH. So one of the H's has been replaced by an Li, and instead of having an H2, it's just an H. So H2O is now LiOH. Now the pattern we see in all these uh, examples is uh, element plus compound will give you an element plus a compound. So if there's an element and a compound on one side of the arrow and an element and a compound on the other side, you have a single replacement reaction. And one question I get when I show this is people ask, well, does it matter the order? Could this be compound element on this side? And could this be compound element on this side? Yes, you could. It doesn't matter what order uh, element and compound uh, is listed, as long as you just have one of each on each side. Double replacement. Two compounds exchange ions. In a double replacement reaction, the positive and negative ions of two compounds switch places. So here's an example. NaCl, which is a compound, reacts with silver nitrate, which is a compound, and it produces sodium nitrate, which is a compound, and uh, silver chloride, which is a compound. So in the above example, uh, sodium and silver switch partners. What's happening is that um, the sodium will pair up with the nitrate, and then the chlorine pairs up with the silver. So NaCl becomes NaO, NaNO3, and then AgNO3, it kicks off this partner and switches it and becomes AgCl. So two replacements have occurred. Okay, That's what I meant to show. All right, so sort of the outer ones merge and then the inner ones combine. <clears throat> H2O is often a common product of a double replacement reaction. So here's an example of that. HCl, which is a compound, reacts with NaOH, which is a compound, to produce NaCl, which is a compound, and H2O. So once again, the outers combine, and then the inners combine. So in the above example, H and Na switch partners. HCl becomes HOH or H2O. <clears throat> so the H combines with the OH to become H2O. And then the NaOH, um, it gets rid of the OH, but it uh, attaches itself to the Cl of the other partner and becomes NaCl. So once again, you have uh, two replacement reactions going on. Everybody's switching partners. And the basic pattern for a double replacement reaction is compound plus compound gives compound plus compound. So that's how you can recognize that. All right, so here's a summary of the types of reactions. Synthesis, two things combine to form one thing. Combustion, a substance, either an element or a uh, compound, uh, reacts with oxygen, and you end up with compa a compound or compounds that contain oxygen. In decomposition, one thing falls apart into two or more things. In a single replacement reaction, uh, if you start with an element and a compound on one side and end up with an element and a compound on the other side, that's a single replacement reaction. And then finally, uh, double replacement, if you have two compounds on one side and end up with two compounds on the other side, it's a double replacement reaction. Right? So that's how you can recognize the five different types. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been chemistry lecture number 46, Types of Reactions.